What is up, my packet people? I just wanted to show you a tip that I learned at Sharkfest Europe not too long ago. So check this out. All right, so you know when you're looking through a trace file and you have a lot of different parallel connections. So here in this example, I just have a bunch of different TCP stuff, a bunch of sins, conversations taken off. Really, all I did to capture this was I just started a packet capture. I opened up a browser and I went to Wireshark and I saw all these different connections. All right, so if I want to take a look at different connections and I just want to look at that, just that connection, set a filter for just that connection, there's a few ways that I can do that. One, I can right click a packet, go to conversation filter, TCP, boom, there's a TCP conversation. Now, if I want to go to the next TCP conversation in the line, this is where I can go to TCP stream equals one, TCP stream equals two, or the long way, just remove the filter altogether, and then I go to the next one, and then I right click and do the same thing. So you've seen me do this before on previous videos where I can go up to TCP stream and I can just hit this button. And what that button does, if you check this out, look at that syntax a little closer. So TCP dot stream equals equals dollar curly brace, TCP dot stream close curly brace. So what this does is it goes into the packet that I've selected and it pulls that field value. So in this case, stream index, there's that TCP stream. It pulls that value out and it makes this equal to it, or it compares against that value that's within the packet that I'm actually selected. So what that means is just quickly, I can pick on a packet, go TCP stream. Now, something that I saw at SharkFest, now, just disclaimer, I don't know who, I saw it on several different machines, so I'm not sure who did it first. I'd love to rightfully give the right person credit. However, I didn't see it. So anyway, um, up here, you can notice that I got TCP stream and just to the right and to the left, I have these greater than and less than. And what that does is it allows me to take a TCP stream. If I select a packet and I filter in on that stream, if I want to go to the one previous, I can go to the left. If I want to go to the one after, I can go to the right. So how do I actually set that up? Well, first, let's take a look at that actual filter. So I already showed you this one with the TCP stream, but what I'd like to do is show you uh, my little less than, and just check this out. All we did was we added, so tcp.stream equals equals, and then dollar sign uh, curly braze tcp.stream minus one. Okay, and then what we do is we hit plus, and all I did was added a label for it, and I just did less than, okay? So then I'm gonna say okay, and you know, I'm just gonna delete this in a minute, but uh, then you do the opposite. You just say plus one, plus one. And then you say add button, or a little plus button there. And I'm just gonna do greater than, and then say okay. And then right there, so now you can see on the top left, I've got this less than, greater than. So if you add TCP stream, then you have greater than, less than. All you do, I'm just gonna right click up here where I have all of my buttons, just right click and you can come down to filter button preferences. And this is where you can, if I come down to the bottom, this is where you can like reposition them. And all I did was I came up and I just repositioned the less than just above TCP stream. And I know that's a copy that I'm gonna delete in just a moment, but I actually wanted to show you how I did it step by step all the way through. And if I just take this one all the way down, so I just took TCP stream and then I move these, reposition these buttons. So I got TCP stream, the one that I'm actually on right there in the middle. And then I've got the less than and greater than right next to it. All right, so I'm gonna say, okay. Now for me, I like that right in the middle. You can move this far to the left, far to the right, whatever suits your fancy, but that's actually how we can set it up. So I think that this is a pretty cool little trick because it just speeds up the filtering. You don't have to back up, reapply filter, back up, reapply a filter. So I just wanted to jump on YouTube with you fine packet people and just show you something that I picked up at SharkFest. Now, I know the next question, hey Chris, are you gonna share that? And you know that I will. So what I'll do is I'm gonna actually export this profile and I'll put it out on my GitHub. I'm gonna link that in the description down below. You can go out there and then you can install that profile. I'll show you how to do that real quick as well. If you take a look at my Wireshark, all you gotta do is just come down here, just go import from zip file and then just give Wireshark my Chris profile and you too will have my profile right there for you on Wireshark. Just thanks for stopping by everybody. I will see you again on another video.